Hello Treylands, it's your boy Woodwood, and happy Halloween. So for the 2024 Halloween update has finally come to Treylands, and obviously I'm going to have to cover it. Alright, as you see here, there's people currently opening the new crates, which I will go over now. These are how they look in game. It's the same effect as earlier. Um, as the other new crates that have come out this year, which are physical, and you can place them in your house. Uh, so here are the mystery crates, Halloween 2024. So you have the, the Brutus, the Deadman Scatter Gun, the Exposure, Jailer Pistol, Reaper Rifle, the Ripper, the Sankus, and the Bomb Yak. Um, my favorite is probably going to be this one here, the Exposure. I think it looks really nice. It's a really cool weapon, like something I would actually use, which most create weapons I cannot say. The Reaper Rifle is pretty cool too. I, I, I think I only got one or two, but here it is. This is pretty cool. It takes Flintlock, so yeah, and you press X to use these on Believe or Z. Yeah, you click Z and then, yeah pretty cool um so more for the drops is so you get a one percent chance for the dead man's otter figurehead i'm i believe these are going to be like the other ones like the pinkle hopper and the gargoyle uh the gargoyle was kind of an exception because people like the gargoyle a lot so it's kind of up in price but the pinkle hopper one is only about like 120 200k i believe i don't really know the price of them um, so it could be either or, so I'd actually suggest holding those. Don't try to sell them immediately, like I will suggest selling everything else. So the Skeletons drops, uh, 10, 20, and 30 are 1 in 100. I got a 30 drop, unfortunately. That's a really bad drop. If you get that, you should be, like, upset. You should be reasonably upset. Um, of course, the big hit in this crate is the Megalodon Blueprint. Um, I got one. That is to make the Megalodon, which we will look at here in a second. Um, everything else is listed as below. You can get all of these um, maps on your thing. I'm scrolling through and you can look at them now. New ship, the Megalodon. So the Megalodon is all the way down here. So this is the Megalodon. I'm going to give it my Elmer, whatever. I'll give you my opinions in a second. So here is the Megalodon. Um, so Poseidon's larger, meaner cousin. It's capable of mounting a heavy turret on the front. So the front of the ship right here, and then in the back you can mount whatever you want. Basically meaning the Poseidon turret, or the new um, Poseidon turret that came out. It was a Poseidon Kara turret, which might, is probably going to be pretty busted in my opinion. Uh, requires coal to run, has no sails, but there is variants available, I believe, which may be sails. I am not too sure. It could be something completely different. So, you get five swivel guns, which are going to be up here, I believe, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the heavy turret up here, and the medium turret back there. Max speed is seven. Uh, speed with engine is seven as well. Um, so, I think that's a bug. I don't think the max speed should be seven without sails. Uh, that will be changed. 250 storage. Um, so my opinion on this ship is it's going to be probably like the other ships, the uh, Nautilus and the um, Komodo. Uh, these both did pretty bad. Um, they did really bad actually. They Their blueprint prices completely flopped. But there was an exception which was the Wyvern and I was wrong about the Wyvern in my last video. I believed it was going to drop back to 850. But it did not. It rose and rose, and now there's sometimes go for up to three million, which I still think is too much for a blueprint. But whatever. Um, so the megalodon could go either way. I believe because based off the Nautilus, I would say it's probably going to be in the 850k range because people are already selling them for 850 apparently. So it could go either way, and I believe it's going to go south for this ship. It's not really going to be meta relevant, relevant, I don't believe. Um, I hear it's RP eligible. If that's the case, it might be a little worth a little more. I think the ship looks okay. Not too great in my personal opinion, of course. Um, it's just not as stunning as the Wyvern was when it came out. And it, it, it's basically a worse Wyvern, because if you look at it, there's two turrets. I mean, you could say it has a heavy turret, but... I mean, you're trading three broadside and a cracked engine and sails. 
which are both cracked. The Megalodon doesn't have. And I just simply don't think it would compete against the Wyvern and what the Wyvern is capable of. But um, like I said, we will see on that. All right, so now let's cut to the new ship vouchers. So another part of this update this year, guys, is the new vouchers. Every year is a voucher, but this year is probably the biggest. So as you see, we get the black voucher this year. Get the Fang, the Wessel, the Beaver, Otter, Mongoose, Phoenix, Concord, Alliance, and Covenant. The one I think is most worth the value might be the Fang or the Nyx. So I think those are both pretty cool ships, and for the thing, it's probably cheaper to buy. But of course, I have to gamble. I've already gambled, which uh, you can watch a stream on my video. But uh, I have two of the ghost ships vouchers here, and I am going to get a ghost Nyx. Even though I already have Phoenix, I want a second one probably. Uh, probably not actually, but you know, you probably think of my options here. Yeah, it's the only good one for two, and I'm not going to get a mongoose and a wessel. So I have just bought the Ghost Phoenix. Let's go see what it is. Um, you should probably never do this because they are worth 2k a voucher. It's probably the cheapest way of getting some of these ships, but you don't get to decide the wood. Of course, you have the reconstructors. Hopefully I get something cool because each time I do these stupid little uh, voucher ships, I always get screwed over. Let's see. Ghastly Phoenix. Awesome. That's... I already have... Oh, wait. Huh. So this is, I got the green one, which is better than the Angelwood one that I thought I had. So you could probably put a Reconstructor on this thing, and you'd be pretty well set. Uh, the only issue is I got the green one, and that's probably the least, that's probably the most ugly one. But anyways, let's continue into the new Malroca prizes, and the best way you can make money quickly, or the prizes, I must say. And then as you see here, um, we have the new and improved portal. Uh, this has been a reoccurring thing since 2022, I believe. And now I will walk you through what you need to be successful and um, how you can possibly get as much of the new bone item as possible. Um, so first you want to run this certain loadout I have here. It's going to be the gun. It's going to be a death metal sword. You don't either a death metal sword or a non-glow. You don't want any glowies that do damage over time, which are most of the glowies. Um, this is because if they die from the effect, uh, you don't receive the item. So it's actually horrible to run these. So, and then for your back item, you can either run in a budget friendly setup, you could just run a musket, but I am running trap shooters because they are cheap. They are only um, 80 to 100k, that's pretty cheap and you do a lot of damage as you're about to see so you can just basically do the strategy if you walk in it's usually a crowd of people if i wasn't lagging i'd be able to enter as you see there's just crowds of people and you can aim hit up see and i hit one guy for 33 and he's fucking dead simple as that and then you can go after people with death metal sword and death metal heroes over time uh, of course, um, I die because I don't have that great of internet, but that is besides the point of that you will make a lot doing this. That's easy to best strategy. Now let's go look at the um, prizes for the event, the Skeleton Miner, and I will let you know my opinion on this event. Also, the monster returns in this event. I don't really know where the monster is right now. I think he's probably up on the Skeleton Hill farming. That's probably what you should do if you get the monster. Now here are here is a salesman. Um, a lot of returning items this year. There are a couple new ones. So you have the pumpkin pie here that is displayed here. Um, honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool item, food item that we haven't received in a long time. And then let's see here. You have the skull. I don't really know what the skull is. It's not really displayed here. But inferring from the name, it's going to be a skull in your house. And that's pretty also pretty decent. Item. I'm going to assume it's a skull on these bottles here, if I had to make a guess. Let's look here. A gargoyle candle holder. That's new. I'm going to assume it's right there. That would be pretty cool if that's the candle holder, but I am not too sure, like I said. Uh, basically, you just got to go on it yourself. The bubbling cauldron's right there. It makes a little effect. That could be cool for like a smoke screen in your house or something. Maybe like you could put it under the floor and you could uh, make it have a certain effect. 
which is that which would be really really cool you could do all the string lights have returned obviously those are pretty cool for shops if you want to use them uh, other than that you have the um, little toy things that usually come out every year you can see them now you have the barbecue sauce from the new pirate moderator and all of the other developers and there's Joe right there uh, wands make a return as well um, those are my favorite weapon range weapons so I'll be happily buying these so you have the holoconium gourd gourd uh, which is going to be this right here this is a gourd I believe unless it's this guy right here and the charger amethyst gourd as well and the bat which is a shoulder accessory that can be placed in your house um, I don't think the bat is placed in here necessarily which is kind of lame but let's go to the skeleton miner every year there's a the skeleton miner you can get them from crates this year as well but now you can get them also from the miner as well uh, as per the usual of the event you can get them you can basically get it from the miners what I'm trying to say um, it's up here as you see there's people always camping it always camping it for the skeleton drop uh, that's how it's probably going to be this year. So you're probably going to need a group of friends if you want to achieve this. Usually there's people here camping out, enjoying the miner. Um, I guess I'll end my video here on my overall thoughts. So I think I like this event. I always, I've always liked it since it came out of the Halloween killing Malroca events. I'm happy it's back. Um, kind of disappointed on the items at the event itself um i think they're okay but i mean at least the cool ones have returned and that doesn't bother me one bit so overall i think the event is really neat um the crates honestly i don't even think you should bother unless you're selling them in the first couple days the weapons are okay but they wouldn't they're not something i would ride home about um i think the ninth anniversary ones were a lot better and how the weapons were designed but, I mean, there's probably a lot more time putting them. As you know, there's the World Expansion update coming out very soon. So that's obviously what the developers are focusing on. So at least we got a Halloween event, which I'm happy about. But, um, anyway, so I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to be giving away uh, five of these items to a lucky winner, including the Statement Scatter Gun, which is the new shotgun. Uh, all you got to do is like the video and leave a comment. Uh, it could be anything really, uh, as long as you've liked and subscribed, uh, you will be put on the wheel. And if you win, I'll reply to your comment. That event will end on Halloween night. So, anything after Halloween night, don't even bother commenting because I've probably given the prize out by that point and there's been a winner selected. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Woodwood. Thank you, and I am now out.